plot creates an appearing and disappearing scene from the story of Adam and Eve. It takes a little bit of time, but it helps us remember that we always have a choice to make good decisions over bad decisions. I'm Ruth. And I'm Caroline. And you will need A4 card, a pencil, a fine point permanent marker, coloured crayons and textures, a glue stick, scissors, ruler, double-sided tape, clear plastic sheet, and this printer and template you can find in the link in description. Fold the A4 cardstock in half widthways, and then cut along the fold. Fold one half of that page into a card shape leaving 1.5 centimetres of overhang. The smaller section will be the front. Then fold the overhanging section over the front. Cut two sections from the other half into almost the same size as the front but make sure they're slightly thinner. and cut one piece of the plastic sheet into the same size also. Draw a border of around 1.5 centimetres around the front section and cut it out, leaving a window. Tape one of the card pieces inside the card at the bottom only. Colour the tree and the serpent then cut out around the rectangle and glue it onto the other piece of card. Place the template image of Adam and Eve under the transparency and trace it onto the plastic with the permanent marker. Remove the template. Cut a piece of card about 9 cm by 2.5 cm. Fold it in half lengthways and put double sided tape onto both halves on the inside. Place the transparency over the top of the tree and line them up exactly. Stick them together using the small piece of card at the top. Trim them if needed. Slide this into the main frame with the tree image behind the taped in card and Adam and Eve on top of it. Tape the front section onto the overhanging section to complete the frame. Now you can lift the images up and down and the tree will appear in the background as you raise it up. Don't pull it all the way, just until the image is revealed. Then push it back down inside the frame so that only Adam and Eve will be visible. Sin entered the world when Adam and Eve went against God's best for them. Once that happened, they always struggled with choosing good over bad. But God gave us a way through all this by sending Jesus and his Holy Spirit to help us choose good, even when we might want to choose bad. Stories of the Bible Adam and Eve sin. This is Adam. Hey. And this is Eve, Hi. who were the first people on earth. They lived in the Garden of Eden, which was a beautiful place that had everything they needed. Adam and Eve took care of the animals and could eat from any of the trees in the garden, except for one. This was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and God told them not to eat from this tree. There were lots of animals in the garden, but the serpent was the most clever of all the wild animals God had made. Hmm. One day, he asked the woman, Hey Eve! Did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of these trees in the garden? <laughs> no! 
Eve said that they were able to eat from all of the fruit trees except the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. For God said, you must not eat or even touch it. If you do, you will die. No, that can't be. You won't die, said the serpent. God knows that as soon as you eat it, you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. <gasps> the woman was convinced. She saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious, and she wanted the wisdom it would give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to Adam and he ate it too. At that moment, their eyes were opened. Oh no! and they suddenly realized they weren't wearing clothes and were embarrassed. So they sewed fig leaves together to cover themselves. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, Adam and Eve heard God walking about in the garden. Hi! So they hid from God among the trees. Then God called to Adam, where are you? Adam said, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat from the tree I told you not to eat from? Adam said, it was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit and I ate it. Then God asked Eve, what have you done? The serpent tricked me, she replied. That's why I ate it. Then God punished the serpent by making it so he would crawl on his belly from then on. He told Eve that she would have great pain in her life. Then God said to Adam that because he listened to Eve and did not obey what God had told him to do, his life would be very difficult. He would have to work hard to get food to eat, God said, for you were made from dust and to dust you will return. Then God made them clothing from the animals. But God knew that Adam and Eve could no longer live in the garden because of their sin, so he sent them away and closed up the garden.